Fungal infections of the brain become more common over the past two decades and can cause diseases such as fungal meningitis, fungal meningoencephalitis, fungal brain abscess, rhinocerebral mucormycosis, and fungal skull base syndromes. In this video, we will discuss each type of fungal infection of the brain, the fungi involved, the symptoms, and available treatments. 1. Fungal meningitis Fungal meningitis is the inflammation off the membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord. It manifests with symptoms such as severe headaches, fever, confusion, stiff neck, sensitivity to light, known as photophobia, nausea, and vomiting. The overall mortality of fungal meningitis, and in particular candida meningitis, was estimated at 10 to 20 percent, and this percentage is about 31 percent for AIDS patients and 11 percent for individuals who have undergone neurosurgery. Fungal meningitis is caused by the inhalation of fungi spores from cryptococcus, coccidioids, exorohylum, candida, and histoplasma. Cryptococcus species are found worldwide where they are present in pigeon dropping and in eucalyptus and other tropical and subtropical trees, found in Southern California, U.S. Pacific Northwest regions, British Columbia, Mexico, part of Africa, and Australia. In the USA, Cryptococcus neoformansis responsible for 30 to 66 infections per million population each year. Candida species lives on the skin and inside the body without causing health issues. However, they are opportunistic and cause infections in immunosuppressed individuals whose immune system is weak. Just in the USA, Candida species are responsible for 72 to 228 infections per million population each year. Coccidiosis found in the soil in Central and South America and in the USA, South Central Washington State, Southwest, and in parts of Mexico. Histoplasma mainly lives in soil rich in bat and pigeon droppings. In the USA, it is found in Central and Eastern states. Exorohylum lives on grasses and rotten wood and in the soil of tropical and subtropical regions. But how do you test for fungal meningitis? Testing for fungal meningitis involves collecting samples of blood or cerebrospinal fluid from patients to check for the presence and determine the type of fungus involved. 2. Fungal meningoencephalitis Fungal meningoencephalitis is the inflammation off both the membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord by the fungi cryptococcus, coccidioids, and candida. It manifests with symptoms such as severe headaches, fever, confusion, stiff neck, photophobia, seizures, and changes in thinking, behavior, and personality. 3. Fungal brain abscess a fungal brain abscess is an abscess that contains a collection of infected material and debris of brain cells resulting from a brain inflammation caused by the fungi aspergillus, coccidioids, mucoromycetes, blastomyces, candida, and histoplasma. Aspergillus species are widely found in the environment with a high prevalence in the USA, Saudi Arabia, India, Pakistan, and Turkey. Mucoromycetes live in a natural and humid environment and causes infections, particularly in immunosuppressed individuals with weak immune system, such as AIDS patients. The annual incidency of mucormycosis is estimated at 1.7 infections per 1 million inhabitants. Blastomice live in decaying wood and leaves and in moist soil. In the USA, it is found in Midwestern, South Central, and Southeastern states. A fungal brain abscess manifests with symptoms such as headaches, fever, and neurological problems associated with the abscess compression of the brain-affected area, example of seizures, confusion, speech problems, drowsiness, and weakness of one part of the body. 4. Rhinocerebral mucormycosis Rhinocerebral mucormycosis or zygomycosis is a rare disease that affects the nose, the sinuses, and the brain. It manifests with symptoms such as facial and nasal deformity, brain infarction or stroke, meningitis symptoms, and neurological symptoms due to brain hematoma or brain abscess, which compresses brain areas or cranial nerves, examples vision loss, dropping of the upper lids, cranial nerves palsies, such as paralysis with involuntary tremors. It is caused by filamentous fungi of the mucorals type such as mucor, rhizopus, obsidia, rhizomucor, and syncephalastrum. 5. Fungal Skull Base Syndromes 
Fundal skull base syndromes are inflammations of the base of the skull and associated cranial nerves, caused by the fungus aspergillus. They manifest neurological symptoms due to the damage caused to cranial nerves, including cranial nerve palsies and craniofacial pain. What are the risk factors for brain fungal infections? Certain conditions, treatments, and medications can increase the risk for brain fungal infections, including weak immune system, example individuals with AIDS or cancer, steroid therapy, infants' prematurity, neurosurgery, diabetic ketoacidosis, renal failure, necrotic burns, and contact with birds. How do you get rid of brain fungus? Fungal infections are treated by high doses of antifungal drugs including amphotericin B-deoxycholate, AMBD, voriconazole, fluconazole, flucytosine, and isoduconazole. These drugs have different effects and target the cell membrane of the fungus to induce their cell death, such as amphotericin B-deoxycholate, AMBD, voriconazole, fluconazole, and isoduconazole, while flucytosine targets the metabolism of the fungus which weakens its DNA and RNA synthesis. For instance, amphotericin B-deoxycholate, AMBD, is used in combination with flucytosine for the treatment of cryptococcal meningoencephalitis. A combination of amphotericin B-deoxycholate, AMBD, and fluconazole is used for the treatment of candida infections. And aspergillosis is treated with voriconazole, while mucormycosis is treated with amphotericin B-deoxycholate, AMBD. In conclusion, fungal infections of the brain are characterized by high mortality rates, which exceed those of viral, bacterial, or parasitic infections of the brain. Individuals with a weak immune system, such as AIDS or cancer patients, are the most vulnerable, and therefore, preventive measures are necessary to prevent fungal infections. Staying away from dusty areas, such as construction sites, gardening, like contact with soil, and ensuring cleaning of injured skin that can be a point of infection by fungi. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share for more videos like this.